is an interesting thing to ask about uh, Pisa, which is, what's the rush? It seems that at some points we rush really tremendously. We try to finish the meal by 12 o'clock uh, midnight, the Jewish midnight. And uh, also when we do the matzah, the matzah, we bake the matzah, we have to do it under 18 minutes. Or so everything is a tremendous rush, the whole matzah experience, the whole eating the matzah. When we eat the matzah, we have to, according to most of eat it in less than 9 minutes and we have to rush to eat the matzah. And so, like, there's a lot, a lot of rush. The only time that it seems we're not rushing, actually, is for the whole uh, story uh, of the Haggadah when we read for two hours. So, it's tr- it seems strange because, you know, if really we have to connect to God and enjoy this world, then we're supposed to take our time and all that. So, what's the rush all about? So, I think this, it's a very uh, important thing I learned from my Rebbe, and uh, from many great rabbis that when we are when we're connected to an idea or connected to um, a feeling for example we feel great about um, something that happened to us right away the only way especially in the physical world the only way to really make sure it becomes eternal, that it comes bound to us, that it's not forgotten, is to rush it into an action then that it's gonna make it tangible and real and physical. Um, probably connected to the mitzvah, goret mitzvah. One mitzvah brings to an, leads to another mitzvah, but the only way to do it is to really to internalize it. So what happened is that Adam Arishon, when in Gan Eden, it say that he rushed in e- in eating the the fruit um, of the tree of knowledge and rushed to get married. Um, he was supposed to wait till Shabbos, so he had a negative rush. Uh, it was a rush for the spiritual in a, in a way, a rush that he didn't realize that there was a process necessary for the spiritual. So what we do on Passover, we ri- try to rectify that, and we eat in a rush and we eat. Um, we do a very physical action in a rush. And so the basic idea is that whenever uh, we, we feel now I'm going to, I'm, I need to do an action in the physical world. Um, so I have an idea and, you know, I should do it or I, 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 I feel so joyful or happy about something. Right away, we have to physicalize it, materialize it sing to Hashem about your happiness to have that, thank the person right away, uh, buy a gift, do, um, you know, do, do a chesed for it. Uh, my Rebbe always told me to always use the thanking machine. Thanking machine is uh, the tzedakah box. Whenever something good happens to me and I really, you know, I feel that it's, it's, a, it's a gift from Hashem, so I have my thanking machine and I put it just in saying, saying, oh, thank you, Hashem, which is very just spiritual, intellectual. I materialize it. I take a coin, some money and put it in my thank you machine. And that money from that thank you machine, that Silaka box is then going to be used for something even more tangible. So let's say if I buy uh, uh, um, after a book or I give uh, money to the poor or I do something or uh, money to to for teachers to 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 teach, um, then that that uh, thought of I feel loved by Hashem now has actually changed the world because I put it into a tzedakah box and a tzedakah box is going to be used to make the world a better place. So this is the importance of rushing. When you're in a physical world, yes, there is a time to be slow and a time to rush. And he is teaching us if we want to fix the Sima of the if we want to fix, go out of Egypt. And we have to rush in the good actions, in the good physical actions. Because otherwise, we just think about something and time flows and, and we forget about it and we never get to do it. So we got to go out of those boundaries, those limitations of, of, of times in a way um, that just time can go and we don't do the things. So in order to do that, we hurry up. We do the matzah very quickly, 18 minutes, because 18 is life, right? So you want to be alive, so right away, as soon as you're aware, 
and you have that in the Mesilla Sisharim, it starts with awareness, and then Zrizut, which is zeal. As soon as you're aware, as soon as we understood during the Seder, for two hours we learned, we understood what going out of Egypt is, and what, how, how, how to be free, then right away, quick, let's materialize it, let's make it real, let's do something tangible. And this way, we can be sure that we're going to internalize it and we're going to be free and make a difference through um, every thought. So, Sof Maseh Marshavad Chila, every action will be right away a consequence of our thought and uh, we make every good thought and idea real and we fix the sin of Adam Rishon. Chag Kosher